See, I'm not one of these people who's worried about everything. You got these people around you, the country's full of them now. People walking around all day long, all day long, worried about everything. Worried about the air, worried about the water, worried about the soil. Worried about pesticides, insecticides, food additives, carcinogens, worried about radon gas, worried about asbestos. Worried about saving endangered species. Let me tell you about endangered species, all right? Saving endangered species is just one more arrogant attempt by humans to control nature. It is arrogant meddling. It's what got us in trouble in the first place. Doesn't anybody understand that? Interfering with nature. Over 90%, way over 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. They're extinct. We didn't kill them all. They just disappeared. That's what nature does. They disappear these days at the rate of 25 a day. Regardless of our behavior, I mean, irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that are here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? It's so self-important. So self-important. That was the seed. Let's save the trees. And the greatest arrogance of all is save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? Save the planet? We don't know how to take care of ourselves yet. We haven't learned how to help one another. We're gonna save the fucking planet? I am getting tired of that shit. I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these fucking self-righteous environmentalists. I'm tired of these white, liberal, Bourgeois, liberal, white people who think the only thing wrong with this planet is there aren't enough bicycle paths. Trying to make the world safe and clean for their Volvos. I'm really sick, really sick. Rock stars and movie stars gonna work off their cocaine guilt by saving a forest somewhere. Besides, besides, there's nothing. Besides, the, first of all, the environmentalists don't give a shit about the planet. They don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live. Their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Narrow, unenlightened self is just dirty. And presently, besides, there's nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. The people are fucked. Compared to the people, the planet is doing great. The planet has been here for four and a half billion years, right? Four and a half billion years. We've been here, what, 100,000? Maybe? 200,000? Maybe. And we've only been engaged in heaven and for a little over 200 years. 200 years versus four and a half billion. of thousands of years by comets and asteroids and meteors, sandstorms, erosion of all kinds, cosmic radiation, worldwide fires, worldwide floods, recurring ice ages, and we think, we think some aluminum cans and some plastic bags are going to make a difference? Planet isn't going anywhere. We are. We're going away. We're going away. Your shit, folks. We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace either. Thank God for that. Maybe we'll start it. Maybe we'll start it. Planet will be here a little long time. Just another failed mutation. Just another closed in biological mistake. An evolutionary cul de sac. Planet will shake us off like a man. It's a freeze. A surface nuisance. You want to know how the planet's doing after? People of Pompeii who are frozen into positions in volcanic ash. How the planet's doing? Well, if the planet's alright, ask the people in Mexico City or Armenia or Hungary, married under thousands of tons of earthquake rubble, if they feel like they feel to the planet this week. How about the people in Kilauea, Hawaii, who build their homes right next to an active volcano and then wonder why they have lava in the living room? The planet is gonna be here a long, long time. Self-correcting system. The air in the water will recover. The earth will 
be renewed? Say, it's true that plastic doesn't degrade? Well, the planet will simply incorporate plastic into a new paradigm, the Earth plus plastic. The planet doesn't share our prejudice towards plastic. Plastic came out of the Earth. No problem. See, plastic is just another one of its children. It could be the only reason the Earth allowed us to be spawned from it in the first place. It wanted plastic for itself. It didn't know how to make it. It needed us. It could be the answer to our age-old philosophical question, why are we here? Plastic. Assholes. Plastic is here, our job is done, we can be saved now, no, no, I think that's what we're done. I mean, to be fair, the planet obviously is us as a mild, something to be dealt with.